Okay, we're going to go over the language pack install for ITIM, ISIM. Uh, first thing you need to do is locate this file, which is the um, ITIM LP underscore setup dot jar file. Um, I copied it over to the WebSphere app server Java JRE bin folder, and then I ran it from there. Uh, Java dash jar, the name of the file. So when you run that, then the uh, file will execute, and you'll see this screen. Go ahead and select next. It'll tell you the default location of where the file was executed from. You need to place this in the, or you need to select the location as the item home folder. So we'll let you browse to that folder. It could be on your system. Um, this happens to be a Windows environment. In your case, it could be Linux. It doesn't matter, or AIX, any flavor of Unix. Just get to the item home folder, which is the root folder of ISIM, and select next, and let the installer do its work. At this point, select the languages that you wish to install. In my example here, I left them all selected. Click Next. It'll run through its installation course. So at this point, we let the installer finish. We fast forward to the end. We get to the 100%. And now at this point, go back and check the ISIM Home installation directory. And you'll note that there's an ITIM LP folder there. Double click that, it'll show you the log of the installation where it just finished to. And you'll notice at the bottom of the bar, uh, excuse me, at the bottom of the page where there was a um, presentation of a completed icon. So go ahead and select that and select finish. And at this point, the installation of the language pack is done. Okay, at this point, we log into the Webs for Admin Console. We go over to the Enterprise Applications. So select Applications. We'll say application types, WebSphere enterprise applications. Go ahead and select the item app and stop that. And then likewise, once the stop is successfully done, go ahead and select the start. And at this point, our server will be ready to show the language pack installation and its options in the browser. OK, at this point now, we'll open up our browser. In this case, I'm using Firefox. We'll go to our options select our language, we'll select choose. Um, in this case, we'll use French, uh, French Canadian. So let me scroll down to there. I'll find French Canadian and I'll select add. And then I will uh, make sure it's the default one, which is the first. So move up if you need to, if it doesn't already do that. Select OK, OK. Go ahead and close your browser and reopen your browser. And at this point now, your default priority language will be set. As we can tell, this is French Canadian. Go ahead and log in as your user so you can see your menus. And when we log in here, we'll go ahead and select uh, a grouping of users and I'll just show you the uh, twist option next to the user so you can see the menu items in French. Clearly everything here is in French um, and you can see that. So we'll search for a user, select one, and there you can see the menu items are in French. So uh, that concludes the demo how to install it.